Hey Jasper, I might be a little bit late from work tonight. Julia has asked me to stay to finish up some reports that we really need for tomorrow's presentation. Could you maybe cook dinner tonight? I don't think I'll be back in time to do it, and I really don't want to be cooking late into the night after such a hard day at work. Oh, and I guess you want me to do the washing and clean the rest of the house while I'm at it, huh? What? No, I'm just asking for a little bit of help tonight because I'm going to be late. That's all. Well, what about me? I've been working just as hard as you. Why should I have to do all the cooking simply because you can't be bothered to? It's not that I can't be bothered to. I just won't be physically home until late. I won't be able to make any food at all. Why do you have to work late? Just tell your boss to do the work herself and come back at the usual time. I was looking forward to some fried chicken tonight, so I want you to come back home and make that. Jasper, I can't do that. Julia needs my help. Besides, I don't want to dump all that work on her. I've been working on this project for months now and it's finally all coming together. This meeting tomorrow is with some very high up people, and if we make a good impression, then big things could happen for me. So, I don't think you cooking for one night is going to be such a huge deal. I don't want to cook. I've had a tiring day as well. Doing what? You don't work at the minute. I bet all you've done is sit in front of the TV all day watching sports. I mean, have you even cleaned up your dirty laundry from the bedroom floor like I asked you to? So what have I been at home? It doesn't mean my day has been any less tiring. I even had to go to the store to get some new batteries as the TV remotes ran out and we had none in the house. Oh, that reminds me. On your way home, you'll have to stop by the shop and pick some things up. What? Yeah, we need some more toilet rolls, some milk, eggs, bread, sugar, tea bags, juice, and a few other things. I'll make you a list and send it through in a bit. Hang on a minute. I've got to stay late at work. I'm already tired and hungry, so I'm not going to do a full-on grocery shop once I finish work. If we need things, then you'll have to go and get them. You're not so busy, so it should be fine, right? What? I'm not going shopping. That's your job. You're the wife, and that comes under housework. So it's your job to do that. Can you not be so lazy just for once? All I'm asking is for a little bit of help, because I'm near the end of my rope. I do everything. And I mean everything. So for once, can you get off of your butt and help out? I have no clue what you're on about. You don't do everything. I've worked for quite a long time to bring back a decent wage for us to buy this house. And if I remember, you were the one not working then. So why is it so wrong for me to have some time off when you did exactly the same? But it wasn't time off. The entire time that I was unemployed, I was looking for work. Not to mention, I was keeping the house in order, managing our finances so that we knew what we could afford and what we couldn't. I was also cooking all of our meals and basically managing all of the house. You do none of those things. You make it sound as if you did loads. All you really did was what a wife should do, which is the housework. I'm not just your slave to push around and do whatever you tell her to. I'm your wife. We should be equal partners in everything. Whether it's in money or household chores, we need to share these things so that neither of us feels overwhelmed. That's what I'm feeling at the moment, completely overwhelmed. And whilst I love my job, it still can be quite demanding. So when it gets like that, I need you to pick up the slack and actually help me out, okay? Laura, I have every right to relax and have a break. Let's face it, I've worked so much harder than you when I was working at the factory, so I deserve a little time off to recuperate. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but it's the truth. So if you have to do the household chores and everything else, then I'm not too concerned as it's only fair. You don't care? You don't care if I'm working myself into such a state? Picking up after you and trying to maintain our home as well as a job that I honestly feel like I could cry if even the slightest thing inconvenienced me? You're really not bothered by that? Well, not really. Women are generally a lot more emotional than men and like to make things into more of an issue than they actually are. 
So this is probably just you doing that. It's likely that it's that time of the month for you as well, which always makes you more angry and irritable. In fact, I would really rather you try and control your emotions more. They can get quite tedious to deal with. Oh, can they? How rude of me to actually have feelings. I'll try and subdue them next time I'm feeling particularly angry. Great, thanks. I was being sarcastic. Oh. Ugh, whatever. I'm getting back to work. What about my dinner? You'll have to figure it out yourself. I'm busy. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed right now. Oh joys, what's happened now? It's Jasper. Oh god, just knowing he has something to do with him already has me feeling annoyed. What's he done now? Well, I just messaged him to tell him that I will be late home from work tonight, as I'm currently working on that huge project I told you about. And we have a meeting with the bosses about it tomorrow, so we need to finalize some things. I asked him if he would be able to cook us dinner so that I wouldn't have to worry about it when I got home. And you know what he said? What? He told me that he wasn't going to cook dinner because he's had a tiring day. H hang on, but he doesn't work. Uh-huh. He then went on to insult me and every single woman on this earth and claim that I'm too emotional and need to keep my feelings subdued so that I don't annoy him. Jeez, what a jerk. I honestly don't know what you see in him, sis. I mean, why do you want to be married to someone who does nothing but treat you like a slave? Not to mention that you're earning all of the money and that he's just wasting it on beer and gambling. What do you mean on gambling? He promised me that he would stop doing that. Well, he's not kept his promise. I saw him the other day going to the casino in town. I followed him there to see what he was up to, and he sat right down at a blackjack table and proceeded to blow over $300. He lost it all. Are you serious right now? $300? Yeah, and I asked the dealer when Jasper left. The guy also told me that Jasper's racked up quite a hefty amount of debt there too. Thousands, apparently. Let me get this straight. My husband expects me to work and clean and cook and everything else while he goes off and spends my hard-earned money on gambling and drinks and stuff? Yeah, like I said, I don't know why you're still with the jerk. I'm wondering that myself. Honestly, I get out while you still can. I don't want to see my little sister lose who she is simply because of her useless husband. You can do so much better than him. Yeah, you're right, I can. Thanks, Michael, for always being there for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, yeah, you owe me dinner for this. I'll get you the best steak money can buy. You better. <laughs> anyway, let me know how things go and if I need to kick anyone's butt, okay? Will do. Love you, bro. Love you too, sis. Clara, where are you? It's much later than usual. You should be back from work by now. Also, the dog needs walking, so you've got to do that when you get back. I've not eaten yet either, as I thought I'd wait for you to get home and cook us a nice dinner. I've already eaten, so I won't be making dinner. And the dog will have to just go out in the garden. I'm too tired to walk him. Hang on, what do you mean you've already eaten? Julia and I ordered a pizza whilst we worked on our project. I'm full. Well, that's not fair. What about me? What about you? I told you that I wouldn't be cooking when I get back. If you decided to ignore me, that's on you. But I'm not going to be cooking anything when I get back. But I'm hungry and the dog's whining is really getting on my nerves. You need to come back home now and sort all this out. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, I'm done running around and picking up after you. I'm not your mom, and I sure am not your maid. These last few months have been absolutely awful for me, as I feel like I'm taking care of a child rather than living with a fully grown man and husband. Your complete lack of care and sympathy for me have pushed me to the end of my rope, and I finally realized that you don't want me to be your wife. You don't love me like that. You just want me to be your live-in maid. Well, that's not happening anymore. What do you mean? 
What are you going to do? I'm filing for divorce. Wait, no, p please don't do that. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. That's not my problem. Maybe you should have spent a bit more time helping out with responsibilities instead of piling them all onto me. But it's your responsibility as the wife. We don't live in the medieval times anymore. In case you hadn't noticed, women actually have a lot more say in how they live their lives, even if you don't like to think so. And I've decided that I deserve someone who will love me and treat me as an equal. And that clearly isn't you. I'm staying at my brother's house tonight, and I'll be around to pick up my things and the dog in the morning. But I don't even have a job. How will I live? You'll have to find new work. Although with the debts you've racked up at the casino, you might have to find two. How do you know about that? Michael saw you the other day. Honestly, I really don't know what I saw in you. Look, I'm your husband, and you need to do as I say. No, I really don't. Goodbye, Jasper. I hope the next girl who marries you is able to whip you into some sort of shape. I wish her the best of luck. I divorced Jasper as soon as I was able to. Once I was free of the lazy bum, I actually felt a whole lot better. I wasn't constantly being told what to do and worked like a slave. The project that I had been working on was a huge hit and I actually ended up being promoted to a much higher position with a huge pay increase. Jasper, on the other hand, was forced to get two jobs, one as a night porter and one as a checkout man, so that he could cover the cost of his debts and have enough money to live. As bad as it is, maybe it will teach him a valuable lesson about responsibility and helping out those who are close to him. Adriana, where are my clothes? I swear mom told you to do the ironing. So, the fact that you haven't really just shows how stupid you really are. I mean, I was right there when mom told you to make sure you got all of the ironing done. There's no excuse for you not to have done it. Actually, there is. I've been really busy getting my dissertation written for my masters. I didn't have time to iron your stuff. Like I said, you have no excuse. Your dissertation is not as important as me needing an outfit for tonight. How could you needing an outfit be more important than a dissertation? The thing I've been working towards for the last five years of my life? With this master's, I will also be able to get into the career path I've been wanting to enter into for years now. Yeah, but that's nothing compared to what I'm going to be doing. I need the perfect outfit tonight so that I can look my best and hottest to impress Lucas. If I'm able to do that, we will start dating and then hopefully not too long after, he might even ask me to marry him. So tell me. How can a silly piece of paper be more important than a potential husband? This is my entire future on the line right here. So you need to stop whatever stupid thing it is that you are doing and iron me the perfect outfit. I want my really nice top, the blue one with no straps, and my black skirt with a slit up the side. And make it quick. I'm almost finished with my makeup, so I'll be wanting to put my outfit on soon. Oh, and also, whilst you're at it, I need you to make me a grilled cheese sandwich. What? Why do you suddenly need a grilled cheese anyway? Aren't you going to a restaurant to eat? If you have something now, then you're going to be too full for your meal. Duh, that's the point. What? Ugh, look, if I eat now, then I don't have to worry about making a pig out of myself at the restaurant later. I can order a small amount and make sure I look like the perfect lady for Lucas. No man wants to be with a woman who makes herself look greedy and fat. This way, I can stay looking beautiful and maximize my chances of getting a second date and actually starting a relationship with Lucas. But that's ridiculous. He's going to see you eating eventually. Why try and hide the fact that you need food, just like every other person on the planet? Of course, you wouldn't get it. You've never been on a proper date your entire life. So of course, you don't know how to keep a man. I mean, you can't even attract one to begin with, let alone actually go out on a date with one. And do you want to know why? Why would that be then? Because you're not pretty. What on earth? Why would you say something like that? What? Why are you getting so upset? It's only the truth. You weren't blessed with the same looks that I was. I mean, I can see why you turned to academics. It's the only thing you could do. Because of your less than stellar looks, you had to try and use your brain to get ahead in life instead. Which I find hilarious. Want to know why? Why? Because when you've had to study and work hard for years, 
I could probably get with a click of my fingers due to how beautiful I am. LOL. You really think a lot of yourself, don't you? Why shouldn't I? I'm pretty and I know it. There's nothing wrong with that. You're clearly just jealous that I'm better looking than you and so I can get by in life easier than you. I mean, who needs brains when you've got beauty? Well, you know what they say, beauty is fleeting. Not mine. I'll just get whatever work I need to get done as the years go by to maintain my youthful appearance. And how will you afford that then? Plastic surgery isn't cheap, you know. Well, duh, I know that. But I don't need to worry because I'll just use my husband's money. He will want me to keep looking pretty for him anyway. So, it's a win-win situation for the both of us. You can't be serious. Um, of course I am. So hurry up and do my ironing already. I'm just not going to listen to you anymore. I've got work to focus on and I am not going to be your personal maid or whatever. If you want an outfit for tonight, then iron it yourself. You're old enough to work an iron. If you don't do what I tell you to do, then I'll tell mom on you. Jeez, what are you, nine? You're really going to tell mom on me simply because I won't iron your clothes for you? Which is something that you are completely capable of doing by yourself, by the way. Yes, I will tell her. And she'll be super mad at you because she also told you to get the ironing done and you haven't. She had stuff that she wants to wear as well. And she'll have to iron it herself, just like you will have to, okay? Fine. If that's how you're going to act, don't say I didn't warn you. Adriana. How dare you act like that to your sister? Mom? She told you to do something, so you need to do it. Not to mention the fact that I told you to do the ironing ages ago. You can't just ignore me or your sister when we tell you to do something, you know? If you want to live in my house, then you need to follow my rules, and rule number one is that you always do what you are told. Understand? Oh my god, I can't believe Lucy actually told on me to you. How childish can she get? It's not childish. She told me what you were doing because you wouldn't listen to her. So naturally, the next step is to come to me so that I can get you to do what you're told. As your mother, you have to listen to me. Not when what you're asking of me is completely ridiculous, I don't. What? Of course you do. I'm your mother. That means I naturally have control over you. Um, no one has control over me. I am a 26-year-old woman who is doing her master's degree. I am more than old enough to make decisions on my own, and one of those decisions is whether or not I listen to you when you're going on about ridiculous things. Me not doing the ironing really shouldn't have been made into this massive farce that it has. It's really not a big deal if you have to do the ironing yourself every once in a while. I mean, I do pretty much all of the chores around the house, and you and Lucy do nothing. I have work to do as well, you know? And it's pretty important work as well. I can't really afford not to pass my master's. Well... That's just too bad then, isn't it? If your stupid papers are more important to you than helping out your family, then you need to learn to prioritize properly. I won't let you skip out on your chores. But I don't have the time to do all of the house chores and get my work done in time. My dissertation is due in like one month, and whilst I have done a lot on it, I still have things that I need to finish up so that I can get the best grade possible. I'm not wasting five years of studying and hard work just so that I can do the dishwasher or iron the laundry. That's not happening. Well, I'm going to give you this final warning, and then we'll see if you are going to do what I tell you or not. What warning is that then? If you don't do all of the chores in the house, then I will take your dissertation and I will personally rip it up and throw it away. I will then kick you out of the house and you will have to find your own way from there on out. Hang on a minute. You wouldn't actually leave me homeless and without my work, would you? That's what I just said, isn't it? But you can't do that. You're my mom. You're supposed to help me and encourage me to achieve my dreams and push myself further in life, not threaten to destroy everything I've worked so incredibly hard to achieve. Well, tough. Those are my terms. Either you do the chores you're given or you leave my house. You don't pay anything towards it, so this is the way that you can earn your keep. I pay the rent. You know I do. I give you like $200 a month towards rent and bills. Lucy is the one who doesn't pay anything. She just lives here rent-free whilst taking up all of your money so that she can go out and buy the things she wants, like clothes and makeup and stuff. She doesn't work, and so she literally just drains you of all your money. Lucy works? She works at the bar down the street. No, she doesn't. She was fired from there like three months ago. She was stealing money from the till, and she would take bottles of alcohol and bring them back home with her. She's lucky the place didn't press charges for the thefts. 
They had every right to. Instead, they fired her and made her pay back everything she owed them. Which I have no clue how she's doing as, like I said, she's not working anywhere at the minute. Honestly, Adriana, for you to come up with such a horrible lie about your sister, just to try and make yourself look better, is ridiculous. Lucy would never steal from anyone. They probably fired her because they were jealous of her or something. She is very pretty. You know how people can get about things like that. I mean, just look at you. What do you mean, look at you? Well, you're so jealous of your sister that you're making up lies about her integrity and trying to put her in my bad books. That screams that you're insecure about her and that you're jealous of her. It's kind of pathetic, really. I'm not jealous of Lucy. Whatever. You can keep trying to fool yourself if you want, but you're not fooling me. Anyway, like I said before, if you want to continue living in my house, then you need to do all of the chores that I tell you to do. Got it? Fine. But it's only because I literally have nowhere else to go at the minute. The minute I am able to leave, then I will and I definitely won't be back. Sounds great to me. However, whilst you are still living under my roof, you need to do the ironing, and I'd get started on that now, as Lucy has stuff that she wants for her date tonight. Also, the dishwasher needs doing. There's a load of laundry that needs washing, and you need to hoover the entire house. Because I think it's feeling a little dirty. I want that all done by tonight. That's a load of things. I won't have any time or energy left to write any more of my dissertation. Well, that's not my problem. You should have done all of this already. I did tell you to iron earlier. You know what? Fine. I'll get it all done and do my dissertation. Just to prove to you how determined I am to get out of this hole you call a home. Keep it up with an attitude like that and I'll find you a lot more chores to do. Whatever. Oh, and make sure you don't burn the clothes. I need my nice blouse for tonight as I'm going out as well. Now, get to it! Well, I've got my results for my dissertation. whoop did he do Well, I've done really well. I'm actually the highest graded in my class. That really doesn't mean much to me. No, I didn't think it would. But for me, it means that I'm getting job offers from people who want me to work for them. Wait, what? People are literally just offering you jobs? Well, they're graduate jobs. But some pretty high up companies are wanting me to come and work for them. I've actually just accepted a role in a company a couple of states away, and the starting salary is $35,000 a year. Obviously, the longer I work there, the higher my wage will go. $35,000? Just to start? Yeah. Well, you need to give me some of that money then. Excuse you? Why do I need to do that? Because. Mom said that you need to do whatever I tell you to, and I'm telling you to give me some money. Uh-huh. Well, that's not going to happen. At all. I'll tell Mom. What else is new? Fine then. Just you wait then. I look forward to it. Adriana, Lucy has just told me what you told her. I can't believe you weren't going to tell me about your new job. And the money as well. I mean, that much money could really help me out a lot. Considering you're staying in my home, I'll be expecting a rent increase. I want a thousand a month. Plus, I'll be expecting all of the money you owe me from the last few months as well. I want it paid in full, so it'll be at least 6000 plus the 1000 you'll owe me for this month. So 7000 altogether. <laughs> That's quite funny. I'm not joking. You owe me all of that money and I'm expecting it in full. I've already moved out. Huh? I've already packed all of my stuff up and I'm currently moving across the country to where my new job is. They've even given me a temporary place to stay whilst I find my own place. They really want me to work for them, so they're willing to help me out where they can. Hang on. You can't just move out like that. You never told me you were going to. Also, who's going to do all of the house chores now? This is just unfair. No. What's unfair is you thinking that you can boss me around and get me to do all of your chores and treat me like a cheap maid. Well, the joke's on you now because I'm gone. I've got my masters and I've moved out. And like I told you before, I am never coming back. I don't deserve any of the rubbish that you've put me through. And I'm going to make sure that I never have to deal with you again. But, but you can't do that. I am your mother. You have to have contact with me. You have to do what I say. No, actually, I don't. I'm an adult so I can make my own decisions, including who I want in my life and who I don't want in it. And not so surprisingly, you are one of the people I really don't want in my life. You and Lucy. You are both horrible people. I mean, 
to treat me in such a way that you make it almost impossible to finish my dissertation? I'm your daughter and you treated me like a maid. I didn't see you doing the same to Lucy either. She gets away with everything and you don't care. And yet you treat me like rubbish. Well, not anymore. I'm gone. And I'm not telling you where. And after this, I'm never contacting you again. Hang on. Surely we could talk about this. No, you had every chance to talk to me and treat me like an actual daughter, and you chose not to. I'm not hanging around just for you to try and steal all of my money and to continue to treat me in such a harmful way. Goodbye, Molly. Please don't message me again, as I won't respond. Adriana, I am your mother. Listen to me now. Adriana. Just like I said, I cut all contact with my mom and Lucy after that message. I moved across the country and have started my new job, which I am absolutely loving. I have found my own place to live where, yes, I have to do all of the cooking and cleaning. However, I'm only doing it for myself and I'm not being treated like a maid, which is all that's important. My salary has recently gone up as well as I'm quickly making my way up in the company. I seriously can't wait to see how my life is going to go from here on out. And whilst I might not have my family anymore, I know that I will be able to meet new people and make a new family, one that I can choose and who will treat me right. The last I heard about my mom and Lucy, the two had a massive falling out. Mom quickly came to realize that she couldn't afford the rent and bills herself, as I had moved out and stopped paying my $200 rent, and she asked Lucy to chip in. Of course, Lucy refused, and the two ended up arguing before mom kicked Lucy out of the house. Not long after that, though, Mom also lost the house as she couldn't afford the rent any longer. Sometimes, karma is the best revenge in life. 